Kidney Stones Overview Hello all, today we're going to learn about kidney stones, an important topic in both clinical practice and your exams. Let's start with a basic question. What are kidney stones? Well, kidney stones, also known as renal calculi, are solid crystal formations that occur in the kidneys. These stones form due to an imbalance in the substances in urine, like minerals and salts, which either increase in concentration or fail to dissolve properly. The result? Stone formation. So, why do they matter? Because kidney stones can cause severe pain, obstruct the urinary tract, and sometimes lead to kidney damage if not managed properly. Now let's talk about etiology and risk factors. Kidney stones form due to a variety of reasons, and the causes depend on the type of stone. For example, calcium oxalate stones, the most common type, are often due to high levels of calcium in the urine, a condition called hypercalciuria. Other factors include hyperoxaluria, which means there's too much oxalate in the urine, and hypocitraturia, which refers to low levels of citrate a substance that normally prevents stone formation. Dietary habits, like consuming excessive vitamin C or oxalate-rich foods such as spinach, can also play a role. In contrast, uric acid stones are linked to conditions like gout and hyperuricemia, where uric acid levels in the blood and urine are elevated. These stones are more likely to form in individuals with high cell turnover such as during chemotherapy or in leukemia. Now let's move on to the classification of kidney stones. There are six main types of stones. Calcium oxalate, uric acid, struvite, calcium phosphate, cysteine, and the rare xanthine stones. Each type has unique characteristics, so let's break them down one by one. Starting with calcium oxalate stones, which account for about 75% of all kidney stones. These are the most common and can form in people with high calcium or oxalate levels in their urine. What's interesting is that these stones are radiopaque, meaning they show up clearly on X-rays. Microscopically, their crystals appear as dumbbells or bipyramidal envelopes. Next, we have uric acid stones, which make up around 10% of cases. These form in acidic urine and are often linked to gout or conditions involving high uric acid levels. Unlike calcium oxalate stones, these are radiolucent, so they don't appear on X-rays, but their crystals have a distinctive rhomboid or rosette shape. Let's talk about struvite stones, also known as infection stones, because they're associated with UTIs caused by urease-producing bacteria like Proteus or Klebsiella. These stones tend to form in alkaline urine and appear as rectangular prisms or have a coffin lid shape. They're only weakly radiopaque, so they may be harder to detect on imaging. Now, calcium phosphate stones are less common, forming in less than 5% of cases and are usually linked to hyperparathyroidism or type 1 renal tubular acidosis. These stones also form in alkaline urine and their crystals are wedge-shaped prisms. They're radiopaque, making them visible on X-rays. Moving on to cysteine stones, which are rare and associated with a hereditary condition called cystinuria. This condition causes excessive excretion of cysteine, an amino acid leading to stone formation in acidic urine. Under the microscope, cysteine stones have a very distinctive hexagonal shape, making them easy to identify. They're weakly radiopaque, so they may appear faintly on X-rays. Lastly, we have xanthine stones, which are extremely rare and caused by a hereditary enzyme deficiency called xanthinuria. These stones are radiolucent and have an amorphous appearance under the microscope. Unlike other stones, their formation is independent of urine pH. So, let's summarize the key points. 
Calcium oxalate stones are the most common and form in variable urine pH. Uric acid stones form in acidic urine and are radiolucent, while struvite stones are associated with infections and form in alkaline urine. Calcium phosphate stones also form in alkaline urine, but they're linked to specific conditions like hyperparathyroidism. Cysteine stones are hereditary and form in acidic urine, and xanthine stones are rare, radiolucent, and independent of pH. Thanks for watching.